That was a rousing reception, certainly for the American, actually, that uh, lots of North Americans around it's Luke to throw first for the North arena. Time. As Peter Stewart Jr. got excellently introduced onto the stage with an absolute I'm mouthful sorry. there, Anthony. Well done, sir. Thank you. Oh, he's... There wasn't a lot. In fact, would it have been easy to say what well, he hasn't won? Well, I think it probably would be, yeah. <laughs> Please welcome the winner of Near Enough Everything. First yes. Peter, first. Peter Stewart, the beast. Fifty-eight. Sixty. We were commenting yesterday, or certainly I was commenting yesterday on the Peter Stewart Jr. was playing young man from the Netherlands. In Bradley Vanden that Van der Velden. And both of the lads had beards better than I've ever been able to grow. <laughs> and uh this lad's seventeen years old. Luke Littler is 15 years old. Right. Luke Littler started his campaign in the group stage. The boys, World Masters, defeating Peyton Hammond 4-2, Demi Sybrands 4-2 and Peter Hoffman 4-0. Last 32, Alexander Steinmetz 4-2, Yorick Hofkins in the last 16 4-1. Andras Borbelli of Hungary, 4-3 in the quarters. And then young Matty Rajon of the Czech Republic, 5-0 in the semi-final. And Luke Littler, not only has he won many, many youth yes. tournaments. Yes, double 16. Yes. Oh, oh right. so well, there's a way to start. Flexing the muscles there with a the 1-4-6 out shot. Outstanding. Yes, not only does Luke have many youth titles in the bag, he also is the reigning Welsh Open men's champion. 26. And was last year's Irish Open champion. He also won the Romanian Classic this year. He certainly was. The Romanian, oh, Romanian Classic Klassen. defeating Yella Klassen as well. Mm. Peter Stewart Jr. David Kramer was 16. a 4-1 victim of Peters. Thais Cole, 4-1, and Fabian Tapner of Wales, all 4-1 in the group stage. He then defeated in the last 32, Germany's Mats Theobald, who has qualified for the World Championships, mm. of course. Nathan Osmond of Canada was next, 4-0. Kieran Thompson, 4-2, he defeated the Englishman. And then Bradley van der Velden in the semi-finals, five legs to one. Another man, so he's beaten two people who qualify for the, the late oh, side. And also, uh, did you say Kieran Thompson, who I won did. our World Open as well? I also commented on Luke's throw, which has 19. changed ever so slightly since, well, definitely since Lakeside in April. Mm. He's added a twiddle. Good grief. A twiddle. Yes. You see what I mean in a second. He probably won't do it now. That bit there. He never used to do that. It was always that. It was always one action. And he's added this little bit in, in the middle, which I don't ah. understand. Ah. You think he knows that? What I said at the time was he's young and these young darts players have a tendency to mess about with their throw. But the way I see it, if it works for you, don't change it. 161 then. He's already taken one, four, six. Oh, oh my, my goodness. goodness me. <laughs> oh! 127. And game. <laughs> Two tens then for the American, double five. Yeah, it's there, one a piece. Mm, against the darts, Fair one leg each against the darts. Fast. The boys flex their muscles. <laughs> it's taken one, four, six and missed the bull on a one, six, one. Great last start. Indeed. Two finals to come after this. We have the ladies' final. England's Bo Greaves takes on 
Almundina Fajardo of Spain. 30. And then the men's final, where Wesley Plazier, the Netherlands. Takes on Barry Copeland of Northern Ireland. He does indeed. He'd be second Northern Irishman to play in the <laughs> final of the Windmill <laughs> World Masters men's competition. <laughs> yes. For those of you who weren't here 10 minutes, 15 minutes ago, Anthony announced that Barry was the first man to go on a raft, a plethora of text messages. Well, one. Yeah, one. Met one message that said, no, 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 Mr. Dundas. Please correct yourself. One message from the one person that I knew would, would call me out one. Yeah. <laughs> and that is our master statistician, Richard Ashdown. Good evening, Richard. Have you enjoyed Ireland the coverage? To be fair, I'm actually surprised I didn't get a look from Jack. He's usually quite good with that sort of thing. A little bit busy, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, look back on 200. Yeah, having won the first leg, he's pretty, well, obviously, amazing 146 out shot, but 90. in good style. The American needs tops to go to right in front. Yes, he was worried about that that might happen, and it did indeed happen. So now he needs tens, and he's unlucky. Luke now, Luke, 110. Looking at the 19s, he's hit the 19. He's gone for 13, and tops, and he's missed the tops. But a second player that we've had today playing on the 19s and the 17s on 110. Double seven. Six. Oh. So for a third consecutive break of throw in this mm. match. Look, the nuke. Yeah, ranked number one Luke. in the boys' category in the WDF World Rankings. He's a short ranked number three. Also ranked 11th in the main WDF rankings is Luke. Anthony's just seen why I don't play darts from about one inch. I'd missed putting my cup in the correct place. <laughs> Knocked everything over on the table. Oh, this is nice. Very nice He's unlucky again with a little ricochet, but 140. Need those in this leg. Straight back with the trebles. 134 to leave 151. Now I feel a lot more confident in saying that Peter Stewart Jr. Six is the first American to be playing in the World Masters boys final. Uh, why do you feel that confident? I've checked it three times. Ah. <laughs> 46. Cue your text message to go. Yep. The winner of this, of course, takes the crown. Treble 19 here. Oh, oh 177 wow. to leave two 12s. 105 then to hold his throw. Treble, treble, 18, treble 15, yes, tops. Yeah, oh, yes. You hit the 177, I don't mind. I'll take a 105. That's a 105 and a 146 for Luke Littler in this particular match. He's 15 years old. Nonsense. The winner of this, of course, takes the crown of Windmill World Masters Boys Champion from Keen Barry. The Irishman winning it three years ago. Defeated Charlie Manby in that final. <coughs> that was Keen Barry's third consecutive appearance in the World Masters Boys final. Lost the, the two previous, 2018 to Jurian van der Velde. 55. And the year before to Germany's Nico Bloom. Ah, yes, I remember. I remember the Nico Bloom game, yes. The winner of this joins illustrious company that have won this title. The three aforementioned, Houston Van Der Kau, twice champion, Colin Ruloffs, Sean Lovett, Jeffrey Deswan, of course, and back in 2012. Jimi Hendrix, Reese Robinson, Jamie Lewis, Sean Griffiths, going all the way back. 57. Sean McDonald winning it in 2002. Indeed, it's his 20-year 20, 20 anniversary, Sean, and he's here today, or here this week, playing in the seniors. He'll be playing in the, 
world qualifier tomorrow. As well, the 2002 girls champion Lindsay McDuck, Lindsay Ward, mm. as she is now. Mm. She's also here. She'll be playing. Keeps finding these trebles, Luke, to get himself out of the little bit of a hole that he was in there. But Stewart coming back. Oh, yes. 19 here. 139 to leave tops. Can take nothing for granted when Luke Whittler's on a finish. Do you know what I mean? Oh, my goodness me. He'll be sitting here thinking, oh, oh my God. No. no way. Oh. <laughs> That's it. I'm going home. I think Peter Stewart would have just taken his shirt off and just said, I'll wave the white flag at that, would he? Yep. That, that is a brilliant marker. Oh, he's got he sneaked it in the corner. Peter Stewart to the Six slag is Luke to throw first. Game on. Three, two. Luke Littler averaging 89 and a half. Peter Stewart, 82.7. Absolutely magnificent standard from these two youngsters. On the ton from the American, the beast against the nuke. Well, who wins in a beast versus 61. nuke? The, mm. the nuke just sounds a bit more powerful. Yes. Fifty-seven. That's of course the longest format we've ever seen in a final of the World Masters boys. Wow. Now you're seeing where we wanted to make it that longer yes. format. These guys more than capable of fabulous averages and 180s, 140s. We're averaging 90, as you said, an 83. Oh no, surely not. For a third ton plus finish. Tops for Luke Littler. Oh, oh and he's bent the wire again. Wires he's missed, missed a 151. He's missed a 120. Oh. Um, 80. 80 floor. Luke, Double 10 20. then for Luke for a 4-2 lead. Yeah, and a 4-2 lead it is. And I'll tell you something, Seven Keen Barry three years ago averaged 91.44 when he won that title, and that average... It's under threat, isn't it? It's under threat, big mm. time. 93, Look, Littler's current average. I'll tell you, you'll be enjoying this, Marco. Yes. Yeah, of course. Good last, as they say. Just off with 41 in the first row, and he's found the one again, but he's straight back in the treble now, and the, <laughs> that rectifies that. Thank you very much. 11 points in front. Was. Great darts, Peter Stewart, Jr. Back comes Littler. Anybody's cool in this leg. Stewart needs a treble, really. Coming down, or is he? Got to have a think about this because he's got to be careful. Ah, well, the three rather messes things up, although that's got him out of that hole. A great last start. A risky last start. Mm. Maybe should have plonked one in the 25, but he's hit the 54, so 138 for Peter Stewart Jr. Two treble 19s, not to be. 76 leaves 62, so treble 10. 86. We'll be back for 52. Will we'll be. be back. 183. Needs to pressurise. Another one of those. Yes. Oh. Well, that's with a different complexion on this 52. Just hit finds the 20. Definitely and finds the double 16, and it's 4 3. And uproar in the crowd. Mm. It's the game we were hoping for. 93 plays 85 on the averages. I just spotted in that wide shot there. Robbie Phillips leading the American cheers. Had a thoroughly good interview with Robbie yesterday. A bit of a chat around how he found things, bearing in mind that he's been to the Masters on a number of occasions. And 135, 140 to kick this leg off for Littlow. Obviously, he doesn't fancy giving his throw away in this leg. And uh, yeah, Robbie. 45. Full of praise for everything and appreciating the chance. I think he's over here with his little brother for the first time. That's right, yep. This time. 
It's a, a family affair. 59. So leave a finish. Peter Stewart won't be leaving a finish, whatever happens here, well, unless he finds a fourth dot. <laughs> 100 draw. Luke Curie Cry, 167. Won't threaten the finish this time. I won't go back up, then he has, to leave 80. Great last start again. Into 140 here. It's nicely placed, but he, yeah, he's just been dropping a little bit low. That's a good dart. Outside chance. We've seen the 156 missed for the match earlier on by Kay Schmidt. But double 10 for Luke Littler. Double 5 for a 5 3 lead. Oh, well. Interesting times. Stays there to leave 56. If you can. Ah, yes. Saw him smack himself in the head there. He knows what he's done. Make double. sure of the one. Good grief. Oh, so 115 then for Peter. Kicking himself and not leaving 96. Treble 19, would have left, would have left double 19. That's a great last start though. So, double two. Move within one. Double one, converted. Look, Littler's on the hill. 5-3, first to six. The average now 90. One more right, you said Keynes was 91. 91.44. Maybe just pop out and tell Luke you need to do a, a 12 30. error or 15. That's not a great start. And Peter's had a good start, so maybe we're going to go far. And he's continuing. He is certainly continuing. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Fabulous to see these two young lads just slugging it out on the dartboard. Impeccable counting. Just playing darts. Respecting them, the, the opponent. 54. Definite chance for Peter to narrow the deficit to 5-4 here. And he's got the hard task. He's got to break the littler throw. He would, if he did do that, have the throw in the last leg. So, won't be thinking about that just yet. He'll be thinking about taking away this hundred. Because if this goes in the treble, oh, I didn't. It would have left a finish. Six starts at this hundred, but he'd love to take it in two or three. Big twenty. Moves well round. Oh, okay. That was a safe start. It Not was, the worst thing in the world. It was safe. It's a nervy dart if 77. 97. So 20 for tops for 5 4. Oof. <laughs> well. Just a little bit too close for comfort, but tops. That's oh. an excellent marker. Oh, well done, Peter Stewart Jr. What an excellent dart. Used that second dart to ricochet in the. The dart that lands in tops and takes the score to 5-4. Luke knows it really needs to be this leg. Because as I say, Stuart Jr. would have the throw in the final leg if he can force a decider. Not off to the best start, the American, when mm. your opponent's firing in up one big treble a visit so far. Reminder, Bo Greaves against Almudina Fajara is our next Wimmer World Masters final as Luke Littler looks to fill up. Disgraceful, didn't leave a finish. I know, terrible. He'd be ashamed of himself. <laughs> we'll be back for 169 to. Good darts, good darts, Peter. Darts. Not giving up. Just a little knock on the door there just to say, I'm still here. And a little chance here. Another 140 makes it interesting. Not to be, but he's coming down. 59. Luke, you require 124. So 124 then for the Windmore World Masters boys title. Treble 18. Stay there. He's found the treble 18 to leave 32. And that is an awkward one. Now... 
And he's very unlucky with the last two, but was that his last dance in this Windmill World Masters final? Luke Littler. 16. First time of asking, and Luke Littler of England is the Windmill World Masters voice champion for 2022. Outstanding stuff and an average of 90.06 at the end of. Ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation. We will see them back at a presentation. Your runner up, Peter Stewart Jr. and the Windmill World Master Boys Champion, Luke Lindner. Well said, Marco Meyer. They will be back on stage for the presentation soon. But Luke Littler, as I say, is your 2022 Windmore World Masters Boys Champion. And we will be back in a couple of minutes with our ladies final, Bo Greaves and Al Medina Fajardo. <laughs> <laughs>